we got to touch on this mask and Cawthorn thing. <laughs> um, if it wasn't obvious already, probably what he was saying about those coke orgies was right. Because this coordinated campaign in which mysteriously all of these incriminating videos about Madison Cawthorn are being leaked to the media, including one that I unfortunately watched yesterday, uh, saw on Twitter, which appears to show him naked humping somebody. This cousin. Yeah, pull that clip up, Bradley. No, I'm joking. No, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's joking. We can't play it. Of yes, course we, we cannot. cannot. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I did have, I did see it. And to me, it just looked like homoerotic roughhousing that many conservative yeah. Uh, men probably engaging because they're not fully ready to uh, accept themselves. But to a Republican who's probably leaking this, it's salacious. And they're throwing the kitchen sink at this dude yeah. because he dared to talk about their secret parties. So there, there's been a series of these. First was this picture of him with like a bra on or something like that. And it was revealed that that was on a cruise in like a front of, in front of a crowd. He was on stage. Yeah. Which is like, th that's nothing. Nothing. Every Republican wants to do that. Then there's another one came out with him and this cousin and they're in a vehicle and they're like kind of joking in a, ho a homophobic slash homoerotic way, which I'm not a psychologist. I don't know how to unpack any of this. Stuff, right. Okay? And particularly, um, I don't particularly care. And I don't love the framing from like left or er, democratic groups like Midas Touch. Like, yeah. look how salacious this is. Like, dude, I mean, it, the, the undertones are homophobic. Yeah. And, uh, and like, but it's like, yeah. And so like he puts his hand in the guy's crotch and says something sort of like, oh, look at this. And then this most recent one with Emma described where they're on like a hotel bed and Madison Cawthorn appears nude and is uh, getting very aggressive and climbs on top of his cousin and starts thrusting his pelvis into the kid's uh, ha face. And they start laughing. The kid says, your ass is on my face. And uh, I think they're probably wasted. Right. Uh, and so, I mean... None of this, I don't care, but plus there's also like, he's inside, he may be insider trading with an NFT thing. Like all of this stuff is coming out at once about Madison Cawthorn. But it is important to say Madison Cawthorn is one of the more despicable yes. uh, individuals in Congress, uh, like fascist, basically. Uh, I, I think that's a fair word for him. So uh, not not someone you want to feel sympathetic towards. It is, no. it is interesting that he goes onto that podcast and says he's invited to adult sex parties by uh, Republicans he looked up to all his life. And then all this stuff starts coming out. Here he is responding to it. And this article is pushing a ludicrous narrative that I'm some kind of <laughs> drag queen on the side, aside from being a congressman. And really, this is just poor journalism. And I'm not surprised. Oh my God. Out. Not exactly the same journalistic standards as Fox or Newsmax. And really, this is about five years. <laughs> they could have found that this was taken well before I was in Congress, and even before I was running for Congress. But ask yourself this. Have you ever taken a dumb photo on vacation? Most people have. Yeah, so he's he's a frat boy. That's the that's the Whoa. extent of this. He's a frat boy. He likes to roughhouse. He's homophobic, and he thinks those jokes are funny. There's zero scandal here, in my opinion, about that kind of stuff. But what is interesting is, I mean, it's not whatever. It's just what we knew about him already. He's a dumb frat boy. That's what it is. And yeah, I mean, I think the the behavior is kind of shocking like i mean it uh, I, if i think back to like high school i could remember perhaps guys who would act like this but like it i is, knew guys in college who would act it like is this. very strange to me <laughs> anyway. yeah no, the, the, the the distinction between like homophobic frat guys like this who do homoerotic shit is like very very thin yes like it's it's there there's a the, anecdotally it just like that you know Guys get drunk and be like, "Oh, like it would be so gay if you kissed me or something." Yeah, <laughs> like, right. Like that'd like, be so gay. Like, let's do the you... elephant walk. It's a hazing ritual. Yeah, it'd be so gay if you showed me your dick. Like, you should. We should do it. <laughs> All right. You know, I mean, yeah. Uh, I no. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, you know. I mean, I know you're involved with the Let's Go Brandon coin, so you should weigh in here. The one Let's that, Go uh, Brandon is going to take down is going to take down more right wing <laughs> operatives than the Democrats have, you know, in the past decade, just by like tempting them with a pump and dump scheme. So I really feel like I've been vindicated for my support of the catchphrase. But no, I don't want to speculate on my man's uh, sexuality, not for any other reason than like everyone's sexuality is different in some senses. Like it's you know it's their sexuality. What he's doing with his cousin is none of my business and nor do I want it to be any of my business. Right. Uh, what I would say really, I always find stuff like this striking, whether it be cocaine orgies or like 
possibly having sex with your cousin is that like the stuff that we do know about Republicans, the stuff that we do know about Madison Cawthorn, like the stuff that they, they advocate for publicly for me is so much more troubling than any of this stuff that it's always so like, like this reveal is something that is like is shocking and like damaging to people who, you know, not just, I guess with the far right who may or may not like interpret this to be uh, just horsing around or whatever, but just like generally in our society, these kinds of things are thought to be so much more damaging than coming out and just like advocating that poor people die in the streets more or less. And so like the, you know, not even so much specifically to Madison Cawthorn, but like cocaine orgies, I believe that because of course, but you know, for the most part, that's way less troubling than like what Mitch McConnell advocates for yes, on the House floor. But and they have so, no issue with that. That's why they don't they're have leaking this about, about Cawthorn to try to like get him to shut up about the cocaine orgies. And then what it shows me is Biden could be doing some of this dirty politics about, say, mansion and cinema. Like if if the Republican Party can coalesce behind g going after this guy and playing dirty politics because he revealed that their parties might get a little bit frisky and they might be doing some blow, Biden can probably play a little bit more hardball, maybe look into some of the corruption investigations. I'm going to have Merrick Garland look into that, uh, Joe Manchin, if you don't get on board with my entire agenda, but they just allow him to sink. And I, mean, I, I, I wish the Democrats would engage in more party discipline like that. I got to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And we my get the opposite. Is, we get the opposite in the sense of like, you know, Schumer had Schumer had Manchin's terms for Build Back Better for like two months. Yeah. And never, no leak, no like discussion of it, no even trying to cater to it, and he just like let that literally Percolate. like die on the vine. Yeah. It, Two, two things here. My question is, uh, number one, um, what left, what more do they have on him that hasn't been released? Because you think, knowing what I know of the Madison Cawthorn from him putting himself out there, um, he seems like a guy who would enact some sort of revenge himself. And with all the stuff leaking, you think instead of putting out this little apology video where he looks like he's on the verge of crying, um, he would say, all right, you want to play that way? This is who I was talking about at those cocaine orgy parties. But he's not. Yeah, that's he's not. And I'm wondering why. Yes. There's got to be something more out there that he's hoping that maybe, you know, all right, I'll take the hits now, but they'll see that I'm playing ball now and they won't release the worst they've got on me. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is my like, this is my discipline. I'll take it. Uh, well, I, I, it's weird. And then number two, uh, what Emma just said about the difference between Democrats and Republicans when it comes to this sort of thing. I mean, really, it makes couldn't make it any more obvious to me in terms of like, who's most likely behind that Roe v. Wade SCOTUS leak? I mean, come on. You think some some liberal did that, please? I mean, I personally feel like the Democrats have no problem playing like this same type of dirty ball when it like gets them what they want. Like we've seen like Democrats at the state level, Democrats at the national level, some of the stuff that came out about Bernie Sanders that they tried to pin on him, uh, you know, either through the media or just directly through their own spokespeople was always, you know, damaging. There just happened to be a lot less videos, uh, which, to, which speaks to the question also, Matt's point. There are a ton of videos apparently of him fooling around his cousin because like it more because he has infinitely more videos than I have of me with my cousin. And I would imagine most people have. So you can only imagine there are more of them. How much further they go in terms of a joke or not is, I guess, hopefully never going to come out. But I think Mass and Cawthorn in this just generally this post AOC wave of like Instagram Republicans who just want to be popular online. They're just not very politically smart or politically savvy. Uh, you know, they're not cool. They're not quite to that level of sophistication to even probably know how to fight back properly they're just like internet trolls who've been gifted with these seats because the far you know the far right has taken over a large portion of the you know republicans base yeah. and you know republican party for more more or less like they do a better job like emma was saying of keeping those people in line or you know at least to the degree that they can uh you know even trump technically i guess in some people's minds started out as like a wild card but he was reined in you know more or less and to give the to give the republicans what they wanted in the end